Hi, welcome to another watercolor doodle with Ms. Cooper. Uh, now this watercolor doodle is a little different because in addition to the watercolors you're using, you also use a pen. I used a Micron pen. So what you are doing is basically you are making blobs of watercolor and then trying to figure out how you could connect those into a tree. This is kind of a cool creative exercise that I do in my sketchbook when I'm trying to get warmed up. Um, and I want to add some pretty details to my page. So the first step is to get those blobs on the page. This is one I already have done. We'll come back to that in a minute. What you want to do first is think of what a bonsai tree might look like. They tend to be kind of curvy and wiggle around and their branches kind of grow in chunks. So this one has little chunks of flowers hanging down. Some of them are a little bit springier. I'm going to do some chunks of green for the branches. Now I'm just using a small kind of flat brush. The brush shape doesn't matter as much for this, but it's kind of fun to play with them and get different types of shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up kind of a dull green in my palette. I'll slide it over so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm starting with the green that's coming straight out of the pan and I'm putting it at the top. I've already mixed some colors here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to dull it down by adding a little bit of red to kind of add that grayishness to it. And a little bit of orange just to still keep it kind of warm. So I get this kind of warm but dark green color because that's the mood I'm in today, but you could do them whatever color you want. You could add flowers and just make them pink or blue or yellow, whatever it is that speaks to you today. I'm going to start with the bottom branches because this kind of dictates where the rest of the tree is gonna go. So I'm going to kind of put in some blobs. That's all I'm doing. I'm just putting little dots. I'm gonna blob some more blobs in here. Maybe I'll make it a little thicker towards the inside. The key to making these look especially nice and full is to make sure that you're overlapping the different layers. If you were to envision a trunk, you don't want to have to reach your branches out too far. You want the branches to be conveniently in the middle for you. Now you could leave it as a short little tree, but I'm gonna grow mine a little taller. Today my trees are kind of growing very close together. Sometimes it's interesting to look back at these and see if maybe you were in a different mood that day. Maybe your life was chaotic and you drew a chaotic tree. It's interesting to think about. I'll have a branch out here. Maybe my tree's a little lopsided. Maybe I don't have as much going on over here. So after you have those branches, it's kind of nice to go in with a slightly different color and add that in. So I'm going to darken my green a little bit, use a little more green from the pan, and mix some blue into it to get more of a dark bluish green. It'll add some interesting shadows and make the texture just a little more interesting to look at. So I'll add those um, kind of to the bottom and to the insides of my branches because I think that's where the shadows might land naturally, more or less, if I was looking at an actual bonsai tree. I'll add a couple more of these. top branch might shadow it a little bit, so I'll put a little bit more on here. Just a little bit of shadowing, but it's the very top one, so not a whole lot of shadows on the top there. Great, okay. So after that, you'll want to add a pot for your tree to live in. Now you could just draw this with your Micron pen, but I think I'm going to paint it in there. I think I like the idea of it being in kind of a dull kind of reddish purple pot. I think that would be an interesting color for this tree to live in. So all I do is I mix my color and I'm going to do an even wash of it which means I'm going to tilt my paper up a little bit, make my paint nice and wet. Drag it across, even that out there. Let that bead roll across the bottom, pick that up and keep dragging it. Bonsai trees usually live in small rectangular pots. Um, their roots are not given a lot of space to grow because that helps them 
keep their interesting shape. So that's why they live in pots like that. So I'm going to keep mine in a pot like that. And I have this extra bead, but I don't really want my pot much taller. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some feet to my pot today because sometimes bonsai pots have little feet. So I'm gonna do that. That's a good solution. There we go. I'm gonna even out the bottom a little bit here. And now it's in a bonsai pot that has little feet and I will set this down and I'll let the bead spread out a little bit off to the side of the pot. It'll make an interesting shadow later. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one that's already dry because you don't really want to put your pen into something that is super wet. I'm going to clean my brush, set it aside, and pick up my Micron pen. The first thing I'm going to do, just to get myself warmed up with the pen and make sure the ink is flowing, is I'm just going to outline the pot because all I need are some quick straight lines. Sometimes it's fun to, to go a little faster and not quite make the lines perfect. It gives it an interesting style, so I like to do that. Maybe I won't outline the top of the pot. Maybe I'll just let that bottom water collection area do its thing. I'll add a couple little dots in to help the soil have a little more texture because this isn't just about watercolors. This is about how you use the pen with it. Otherwise, there isn't really much point in using the pen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start figure out what this trunk looks like at the bottom. I think this trunk is going to be really wide and there's already a branch that has to be right here. So I'll add a little branch in. I'll give it space to keep growing. I'll add another branch in here. I'll let it kind of continue growing up. So there's probably a couple of branches holding this part in place because this set of leaves is so big. There we go. Maybe this branch kind of continues. Maybe there are kind of two separate branches going into this area. I'll add a couple more here. Let's add one for this area. Kind of helps if you make little broccoli trees where they're little y-shaped sections of branches that can look really interesting now i have this one floating off in space here i think i'll connect it to this one right here and i'll kind of curve the branch a bit there we go maybe i'll make it a little thicker the nice thing is you can add little texture lines to your branches so if you accidentally have to redraw part of it you can just blend it in by adding more lines pretty easy this isn't meant to be stressful. This is just meant for you to draw happy trees with a little bit of help from a video. So I'm gonna add little wiggly tree lines in there. Cool. Now it almost looks done, but the reason why it doesn't quite look finished is because you haven't circulated the pen through the whole drawing. So what you can do to make it circulate a little more is to kind of outline the sections of your bonsai tree. I'm going to mostly add outlines to the shadowy areas because this pen is so dark. And once you add those little shadows, it tends to really come together. So I'm going to add little bits of pen here. There we go. A little more pen. And let's add to this section over here. And now it looks like a nice little puffy bonsai tree that would look really cute sitting out on a table or maybe outside. Maybe it's one of the outdoor ones. Just a couple lines to kind of close off my branches. And there you have it. Now you have a lovely little bonsai tree. Um, that mostly just involved getting those blobs of paint on. I hope you enjoyed.